to make a brief comment on the statement that has been sought by Senator Beth Siengo. Just a few days ago, Honorable Speaker, I accompanied the Member of Parliament from Kamkunji to the office of the Inspector General of Police, Douglas Kanja, and we were discussing the spate of murders across the country. I want to persuade my colleagues that this is a national security situation. It is not just something that can be defined along the lines of uh, gender. Honorable Speaker, because in the past few days we have also seen victims of uh, the male sex uh, also being uh, brutalized and killed in the most uh, inhumane manner. I'm sure all of you have heard the story of uh, Willis Ayeko, the HR manager of uh, Wells Fargo. And there appears to be a problem in the country, Honorable Speaker. In the case of uh, the Kamukunji three, a mother, Waris Dawood, together with her daughter, Mina, and uh, nephew, Nuseiba, were all killed, Honorable Speaker, and their bodies dismembered and scattered across four uh, points, three in Nairobi and one in Machakos. In fact, some of the body parts were, uh, were being recovered from South the bodies had already been brought to Nairobi. And Honorable Speaker, when I went to City Mortuary together with the Yusuf, uh, the MP for Kamkunji, I can say without doubt that that is the most inhumane act that I have ever actually had to witness because of the extent of the mutilation of the bodies and the sort of torture that they must have underwent. There's a problem in this country. If a criminal can actually pluck you from the street and move around Nairobi with a dead body on, on board, more than one dead body, in fact, Honorable Speaker, throw a piece of you in Bahati, throw another one in Parklands, throw another one in South Sea, and throw another one in Machakos. There has to be a problem with the way our security uh, system is organized. What happened to all the Nyumbakumis we used to have? How come? I asked the Inspector General of Police, what happened to the uh, command center that I saw the former president launching of all the CCTV coverage in Nairobi? How is it possible that people are encouraged to do such things? Where is this place in uh, Senator Osos' co uh, county that you can hide somebody for hours and torture them and cut them down piece by piece, Honorable Speaker? And nobody knows or hears anything, and even when the body is found, people are not arrested immediately. I am happy at least the IG of police assured me that in all these cases, they have very serious leads, and true to his word, I can see that they have been arrested in some of those cases. I want to continue to the police that it is their responsibility to protect Kenyans and their property, and these things cannot continue to happen in a country such as ours today. Honorable Speaker,